Okay, we are back. Let's uh, get this continued on here. Okay, and I'm going to go to the next page here, but I want to recap where we were. So we took that force vector, or that um, set of vectors, uh, TAB, which we knew, TAC, which we don't know, TAE, which was 60 pounds, and FD, which we don't know, and we're going to solve those, but what I did in the last video was break those into their components and get them all sorted out, okay? So ideally, we have some numbers to play with here, okay? I'm going on to the next page just to keep uh, this straight, um, and we're going to continue on with this, okay? All right, so if I look at this, I'm going to write this as R is equal to negative 34.73 pounds I plus 19.84 pounds FJ plus 0 0.3512 TAC and I plus 0 0.9363 TAC of J. And we're going to continue on down here. So let's do minus, uh, actually I'm going to shrink it a bit. We'll come over minus 60 pounds of J plus FD of I. Okay, so that's our full equation. Okay, and remember, this was coming back from R is equal to TAC, TAC plus, whoops, let's do that again, TAB plus TAC plus TAE plus FD. And we're going to set that equal to zero. Okay, <clears throat> so all this has got to be equal to zero, which reminds me should be equal to zero. Okay, um, that's a zero. Okay. Anyway, so that's what we did. That's where this came from. Okay. Now let's break it down into the some of the forces in the x and some of the forces in the y. So some of the forces in the x are equal to negative. 34.73 pounds plus, um, I need the I in there, let's not forget the I, 0 0.3512 TAC I plus FD of I and basically we equal to zero, okay? All right. Some of the forces in the Y now are equal to 19.84 pounds of J plus 0 0.9363 TAC of J minus 60 pounds of J and that's equal to zero. Okay. Now, are we ready? We are ready. We have a means of trying to um, resolve this. Okay. So what do we got? Let's do some little looking here first. So one thing up front. So we know that one, but we have a hole there and we have a hole there. So two unknowns in one equation is hard to solve for that one. But down here we know this one. And we know that one, and we have one unknown there. So let's go solve for this one. And obviously, I forgot to put a letter in there. Why did I do that? Um, T A C. Okay. So I can solve for T A C using the sum of the forces in the y direction. Okay. So let's do that. So solve for. TAC from 
sum of the forces in the y equal to zero. Okay. All right. So if we do this, T A C is equal to negative nineteen point eight four pounds plus sixty pounds pounds divided by zero point nine three six three and I'm gonna get an answer that's forty two point nine pounds okay bingo we got one down okay now um, let's figure out what is going on uh, with the next one okay so now let's substitute TAC into some of the forces in the X all right and that will give us um, F D sub I equals to 34.73 pounds minus 0 0.3512 times the 42.9 pounds that was TAC okay and I'm going to be careful here to make sure we keep track of which ones we're working with and it's in the I and if I solve for this we're going to get 19.67 pounds and that's the answer for F sub D okay and the I's now cancel out because they cancel out all right bring them to the other side sorry I had to get something to drink there um, now let me point out a couple things because I took a few liberties here with the math that you may want to pay attention to so I skipped right down to the final equation, but basically I'm subtracting T of A out, uh, T sub AC out to the left side, leaving the equation and altering the signs on everything that needed to be altered, okay? And that gives me the answer. So there's an intermediate step there, but please remember to do that. Uh, if you get lost, remember I reminded you to do that. So think back, what was it? he said to do okay um, all right now what I want to do here all right now a little note here and then we're going to be able to finish this problem up with a real simple check that should make life interesting and easy for you all right but before we do that here's an if if the answer was negative okay a negative value then we chose Okay, so <clears throat> you can choose wrong, I guess is where the statement's going, but let me read it to you, make sure we got it. If the answer was negative, then we chose the wrong sense or the direction of the magnet of the force during the drawing of the free body diagram. So let's say um, FD came out negative 19.67 and 
I drew it in the um, X direction, then I actually know it is in the negative X direction, which is fine. Um, so you don't always have to choose them correctly. Just know that you have to make a choice and the math will prove you out which way it's supposed to go. You'll get used to choosing the right way and it'll be light, life will be a lot easier. Okay. Now, how do I check to see if I got this answer right? Well, use a force polygon to check the answer. Basically, this TAE, we go to TAB, we go to TAC, and then that has to go back to, whoops, it should have been a little higher there, there, TAC, and that has to be FD. And if everything goes to zero, so the sum of the resultants is equal to, I'm sorry, the resultant is equal to the sum of the forces equals zero, then we have a perfect solution. Okay, it's simple. All right, I uh, hope you enjoyed that video. hope it helps you someplace along the line here. Um, give me some feedback if it's not, and I will see about how I can create this differently for you.